Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. And this adventure will be the building of a shed. I plan on putting together an 8 by 12 so you guys could see the pressure treated wood here, the chop saw and all the various stuff and there's some more wood on the truck. Um, there's many reasons to build this shed. One of them is to get rid of some surplus wood I have floating around. Um, it is fall and it is time to start putting things away. And I'm also trying to build this shed as I'm putting it together. I'm going to try to lay it out in such a way that I could get to everything in it. It is a driveway shed and what I'd like to keep in it uh, so the uh, snow blowers so when I need them I could just get right to them, uh, perhaps the generators, um, stuff like that. Probably there'll be one snowblower always kept right in the garage so I can snowblow my way <laughs> to the shed to get the other stuff. Anyway, let's get started. So here we have it, tubers. The frame is all built. This is the bottom the platform, the foundation, the base, whatever you want to call it. Now, I just did um, 2x4s, pressure treated, 16 on center, no big surprise. I like to get the full inch and a half overlap so you could see how I put the extra stringer in there. So that's 8 foot and that's 8 foot, obviously 4 foot. Um, these extra pieces, they're going to go on the bottom and be on the ground. I stopped here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I need to tilt it up to put those on the bottom. That's uh, one reason why I stopped here. I also don't want to add the extra plywood because I basically have to lift up half the weight of this thing to um, kind of drag it into position and so forth. And unfortunately, poor Harvey is not as strong as he used to be. Um, so the construction details, right? No, no big amazing uh, things here. We have a nor'easter blowing in tomorrow afternoon this time. It's supposed to be raining like no tomorrow. I guess we're supposed to get um, somewhere between one and three inches of rain. Uh, for me, no big deal, um, especially now that the drainage has been improved a little bit. But that means basically I got to get this base set up in position and covered right I don't want that plywood getting all wet and and so forth a lot of people use I call it flake board I guess it's known as OSB for um, the whole construction I I don't know for the base I'm not going to use OSB I'm going to stick I'm going to stick with uh, what I know plywood this is four ply um, couple of sizes up from half inch what is it three quarter five eighths it's five eighths so there it is all right you'll see it in position next there is the shed base um, more or less in position I might have to jockey it about another couple of inches I still have to level it and put down the last two pieces, the last two full pieces of plywood. So this, if you're building a shed, I always consider this the hardest part. And the reason why is where are you going to put the shed, right? And you got to prepare the ground for wherever you're going to put the shed such that the base will sit flat. Once you figure that out and put the base together the rest of it's really a piece of cake I could probably um, assuming all the materials are here quite honestly I could probably get the walls and roof on in another day um, I have siding for it white siding which I don't think is really gonna look all that great but it was free so I have white siding to put on it 
and uh, I think I'm going metal roof and I think I'm just going with a incline roof nothing complicated right a shed roof draining toward the back um, I moved this dirt wall backwards and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea before the sheds up for me to clean this up and move it back just a little further right having air space behind the back wall is always 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 a good thing and I mean by airspace not a quarter inch like inches six inches a foot so it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to do that to move that dirt wall back a little further so you guys know what Harvey's up to off building a shed once I get the base done the walls up and a roof on it I'm gonna leave the front open for the time being I'll just um, support it so we don't rock and roll and collapse the whole thing and get all cattywampus but um, yeah I'm not I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna lay out the doors and so forth I know what I want to put into this shed but until you actually kind of put it in and take it out a few times the motorcycle scooter whatever it is that you're uh, you're trying to manipulate the or the snowblower or whatever else um, you really can't figure out where you want to land the doors um, just off the top of my head I'm thinking of a smaller door for this six it's 12 by eight so you kind of break it into two six foot sections I'm kind of thinking of a smaller door here and then a double door perhaps over here so maybe a three foot door and a pair of three foot doors um, I'm once again I'm thinking out loud what I want to also do is make it so that there are shelves here relatively high up shelves so you know like motorcycles could go under them or whatever I put under them snowblower whatever could go under them and then the shelves will be accessible with um, with drawers that open and close or or storage boxes whatever anyhow so I think this is as far as I've gotten today and I think this is as far as I'm going to get so I think I'll post this like it is. And remember, if you're considering a shed, your first trick is where are you going to put it? Get the ground leveled. And then once you build the base, the rest of it is really a piece of cake. By the way, um, lifting this was... I'm going to call it at my limit because I succeeded it, succeeded moving it into position. It was actually beyond my limit. This, this was too much to lift up. Um, you know, I kind of propped it up and put those cross beams in and then kind of, you know, scuttled it around until it was more or less in position as I was lowering it slash dropping it I kind of pushed it you know as it was falling I kind of pushed it so it landed the rest of the way in position but um, th this this was be really beyond my lifting capability so just just keep that in mind as you're building these once you build the base if it's not exactly where you want it to be how are you gonna move it right and this happens to be a tight area with the Suzuki sitting there and this junk sitting here right not not the best way of doing this whole thing anyway I really really want to thank everybody for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe I hope you enjoy this kind of video please remember to keep your feet down your heads up and I want you all to get out and enjoy each and every day bye now